Hey everybody, welcome to Temple. I, I, I'm gonna sing this because I've, I've always wanted to do this. It's the story of a man named Brady. Hey. <laughs> do you even get that? You're too I young to even get I that. I totally get that. Not, I've never heard that song before. <laughs> never in my life. Hey, I heard you were under the weather this week. I was and and uh, feeling a lot better, so yeah. all is good. Hey. It wasn't COVID. It wasn't COVID. I no. got tested. My mother had Christmas. Tested. Was it was it tinselitis? Ah, <laughs> okay. And we're done with the dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, got some announcements for you. First announcement. It's a big one. In the last couple of years, I uh, haven't been able to do this, uh, but snow camp is back for high school students. So. Snow camp, we're getting ready to do, do that. We're gonna be going on March 3rd to the 5th. So any of the high school beloved group, if you wanna uh, sign up for that, you can register on our uh, registration page. Registration, uh, there's an early bird registration price. And if you get into the early bird registration price before January 3rd. So are you guys gonna build igloos, have snowball fights, giant snowmen? I'm sure there's gonna be some kind of fights in the snow, but I'm not really sure about the right. igloos or the, I don't know construction plans we have yet. Just let me know if you guys build a snowman and find an old silk hat. Don't put it on his head, because yeah. he might just begin to dance around. Yeah. So, hey, here's the other thing. Samantha Newland, we're so excited that she's um, doing an internship with us. One of the things she's doing is she's organizing a meal team. So I've tried, I don't think she'll just randomly bring food to us um, <laughs> as much as we would like that. But if you know anyone who's maybe under the weather or had a loss or, or grieving, or maybe has had surgery or something going on in their life, we would love to bless them with a meal. So here's what you can do. You can contact the church and ask for Samantha if you know somebody who needs a meal or if you need one, something's going on in your world where it would just make life easier if somebody brought you food instead of having to cook, which is every day for me, but um, that would be inappropriate use of Samantha's talents. But she would love to bless you with a meal if you need it. She would also love if you wanted to call and say, hey, I want to serve by making meals and delivering meals. So if you know somebody who needs a meal or you want to be the one delivering meals, call us up at the church. We'll get you in touch with Samantha and she'll get you in the rotation. Maybe somebody will be lucky enough to get a Nancy Hotkey apple pie. Oh, those ones are really good. Nancy Hotkey apple pie and a go. Sylvia Melendi lasagna and yeah. you would just be content for this. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, also this week, this past week, uh, we had our hampers go out and we just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that supported that. Uh, we were able to give it 150 hampers this year and it's just been great. So thank you everybody for supporting that, or that ministry. Yeah, hampers are flying out of here as we're recording this. So our community is getting blessed and, and that's just a, a cool thing that we do every year, participate with the community at large that's, that's taking hampers everywhere, it's great. So Christmas services, Christmas Eve is a Saturday. It's actually coming up very quickly. So here's the deal. We're gonna have three services on Christmas Eve, four o'clock and 5.30. Those are gonna be family friendly services. We wanna invite you to bring your kids, let them be part of the service. Catherine's gonna bring them into the service at one point and read the Christmas story with them. And then our eight o'clock service Christmas Eve is a candlelight service. So if that's kind of what resonates with you, I love the candlelight stuff. Not that I don't like the kids, but I love the candlelight stuff. And so the, the eight o'clock service will be candlelight. Now this year, Christmas is on a Sunday. So we will have one service at our regular time at 10 a.m. on Sunday. You know, honestly, the motivation behind that, because I know a lot of churches have debated, do we have a Christmas service when it's on Sunday or not? Two things from my perspective. One is, it's what we say is the most important day of the year. Would we close? No. Walmart doesn't close on Black Friday. We're not gonna close on Christmas Day. Here's the other reason. We do that service because there are people in our church, part of our church family, who honestly don't have anywhere to be on Christmas Day. And so if nothing else, it gives those who don't have anyone to be with or aren't traveling or maybe families you know, at a place where they can't get to and they're just alone. At least you're gonna get that time to come together as a church family and be together. So that's the motivation behind that 10 a.m. service on Christmas morning. There you go. And then the next week is New Year's Day. We will also be having a, a service. It'll be a regular service at 10 a.m. And in Treehouse, we're actually gonna be having a Pop-Tarts and PJs thing happening, which kind of sounds like my Friday night. Yeah, I might go there. Just stuff my face with Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts and PJs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, here's the other thing. 
the church office hours are going to be a little different between Christmas and New Year's Day. So the church office will be closed the 26th for Boxing Day, but we're going to be closed the 27th and January 2nd as well. Otherwise, it will be our regular hours. So the uh, Friday hours are end at noon. Church office closes at noon on Fridays regularly and then five o'clock uh, Monday through Thursday regularly. So if you need to get by the church, um, you want to come in and bring in that year end gift, which is really important, not only to the ministry, but, but also just a way to say, hey God, we, we wanna practice what we've been talking about all year. We wanna be generous people to provide for our neighbors and be transformed in the process. So that's a great opportunity to um, give a year end gift, come by the church that week, just know that we will be closed the 26th, 27th, and January 2nd. There you go. Is that all the announcements? I think that's all the announcements. I think we can dismiss the kids right now. All right, kids, get ready. On your mark, get set.